Hey everyone, my name is Gabby Moreno Cesar and I'm with the IBM Cloud team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run batch jobs with IBM Cloud Code Engine. Batch jobs are pieces of code meant to do specific tasks at specific times of the day. Uh, for example, processing records in a backend system. So starting at the Code Engine overview page, we're going to choose the Run Your Container Image option and give it the name of a batch container image. I'm going to name it HMO Task. To save time, the image has already been built for us. So let's go ahead and hit Start Creating to move on to the next step. On this other screen, we can enter many different configuration options. But for now, let's just stick with the defaults for everything except for the first one. For that one, we're going to choose Job instead of Application. And with that, let's go ahead and hit Create. And now what we have is we've created the definition of our batch job, meaning that we didn't actually run it just yet, but we just made the platform aware of the job itself. And so what this is going to let us do is it's going to let us run it over and over again just when we need it. So before we actually run the job, let's first talk about what the job is going to do. For this demo, we have an application that manages a set of customer records and the job, what it's going to do is it's going to process all of the customer records in our backend system. So you don't need to worry about what the records are for or what the front end application is that we're showing you. But the key things here are that the two numbers are from our backend system. The first shows the number of records in there, and the second shows how many have been processed. So as the batch job runs, the second number will increase and eventually should equal the first. So now we're just going to move this window over to the side so that we can watch it. Now let's run the batch job by hitting the Submit Job button. And you'll notice that there's a few options that we can also modify. First and foremost is the Array Indices field. This tells Code Engine how many instances of the job to execute. Right now it's showing a default of 1, but in the demo we're going to run 10 of them. So we're actually going to enter 1 through 10. Code Engine allows for you to not only specify how many instances to run, but how those instances are numbered. Meaning, are they numbered 1, 2, and 3? Or should we number them 1, 3, 5, and 7? Say, for example, if you only wanted odd numbered instances. Usually, the instance number is used as part of processing to ensure that each instance, their work doesn't overlap with any others. So we're going to leave the rest of the configuration options and just press Submit Job. So now what we can see is that we have 10 pending instances. And each instance, we're going to see them move from pending to running and then eventually completed. Notice also in the application window, you can see the number of records processed is going up, and it's going up pretty fast. And in a matter of seconds, all the 10 jobs are completed. And that's it. So let's quickly summarize what happened. With just the name of a container image, we defined a job, and then we executed it with 10 instances. We didn't have to do any infrastructure setup, no infrastructure management. As a developer of this code, all I had to worry about was the business logic of the workload and nothing else. And that's the goal of Code Engine, allowing developers to focus on what's important, their coding. That's all the time we have today, but hopefully you found this quick walkthrough of how to manage batch jobs in Code Engine exciting. And I encourage you to look at our other videos to see more key Code Engine features. And of course, we hope that you'll go to the IBM Cloud Code Engine page to play with it yourself. Thank you.